Hi, I'm Steve. Today we're going to talk about the HM32 mill drill from Hafco Metalmaster. HM32 mill drill comes standard 2 horsepower, 240 volt motor, 12 speed B section belt drive, 3 morse taper spindle. It is shown on the optional stand and it comes standard with the accessory shown in front of me. These mills are used for home hobby applications, light industrial, uh, give you heavy drilling capacities and general light milling. I'll take you through some of the features of this machine. This machine is driven by a 240 volt, 2 horsepower, 10 amp motor. On this machine we have a 3 morse taper spindle, we have 130 millimetre quill depth and 75 millimetre quill diameter. Face milling capacity is 80 millimetre, end milling capacity is 22 millimetre. Chuck capacity is 1 to 16 millimetre. Full drilling capacity using three more taper drill bits is up to 32 millimetre. We have a depth stop here for your drilling. Simply wind to the desired depth you want to go to and drill your hole. Here's your quill for drilling. Engage your worm drive for fine milling. Set your depth with your graduations and finally lock your spindle. To extract the cutter, we undo the lid, lift it, get a spanner onto the draw bar, loosen that off one thread, give that a little knock with a hammer, and extract your cutter. To change over from milling to drilling, we'll extract the draw bar. and simply insert your drill chuck. This machine is fitted with a forward reverse switch. Forward. Reverse. And also a safety stop switch. Another added feature is the safety chuck guard. This machine is equipped with 12 belt speeds from 100 RPM to 2150. I will now show you how to change some speeds. We are currently in 100 RPM, which is A1, A and 1. I will now move up to, to 2150 RPM, which is D and 4. Take note of the safety micro switch when I take the lid up, which will stop the machine. Move that motor forward. Take that top belt off, slip the bottom belt off, slip this other belt back onto the bottom pulley, and then finally put this one back over the top. Lock the motor, close the lid. Head height adjustment is adjusted by a rack and pinion on the side column and simply wind up and down your crank handle. To secure the head after moving, use these lock nuts. This machine has a large cast iron table of 820mm long by 240mm wide with four T slots. X movement on this machine is 540mm, Y movement is 190mm, and Z movement is 410 millimetre. As you can see, table travel can be adjusted by these length stops. These table locks here will lock your X or your Y movement quite simply. Safety hand wheels are incorporated on this machine. Rubber slideway cover lessens the amount of swarf that might end up on your valuable slideways. Table has been designed with coolant reservoirs with drain plug ready for optional coolant system. If desired, you can use a coolant system on this machine by mounting a hose from here to the optional stand and then down to an additional coolant system on the floor. I'm Steve, thank you for watching today and please go to our website for more details.